annual Hawaii Cannabis Expo is underway at the Neil Blaisdell Center with about 150 vendor and education booths aimed to promote the health benefits of cannabis. I spoke with one of the organizers who works to educate the public about medical marijuana. It's really for patient advocacy because a lot of people suffer a lot, especially with cancer symptoms, epilepsy, PTSD patients, pain and nausea patients. And there's some of this stigma yes. around taking this type of medicine, especially with families. Tell us about that. Well, in Hawaii especially, I think, you know, it's everyone's talking about everyone. Any place is like that, but I think especially in Hawaii. And I can tell you that aunties and uncles, they don't want anyone knowing they're taking the medicine. This industry is HIPAA protected, federally protected privacy. So I explain that to customers or patients, especially at the expo, because people will come here to kind of dip their toe in the pool to see what it's about. Uh, we'll get a huge crowd here of people asking questions. They have questions written down, they'll ask me, like, can someone find out if I have a medical card? That's a HIPAA compliant database, there's no way. The only way it would ever come up is if you're doing something with law enforcement. Um, a lot of people are curious, you know, can I do it discreetly? I never recommend people smoke it. Putting soot in ash in your lungs just doesn't make sense to me medically. And so I always teach people about vaporizing it, where it's just taking it in as vapor, like any other vaporizer. A lot of people may look at this and think they'll become addicted or they will lose control, right? That Because it has gotten such a bad reputation, yeah. marijuana. Uh, so how do you combat a lot of that negative perception? Sure. With the truth, cannabis is a non-addictive drug. Psychologically, it becomes addictive, maybe because you really enjoy feeling healthy and it mitigating horrible symptoms. But physically, there's no addiction. If you stop taking it, your body is not yearning it or urging you to do it again like other opiates that the, you'll be prescribed. Heroin and opiates, oxycodone and oxycontin, those are opiates. Those are highly addictive. Your body will go shut down if you stop taking it. That's why I say do not stop it right away. You have to step down with cannabis if you stop. And the good news is within three to four days, you've reset your endocannabinoid system, the part of your body that processes the cannabis. So the next time you do it, it'll be like the first time. It's, very, it's a healthier alternative. It's just the information about it has been squelched and made, you know, the Reefer Madness movie back in the 40s or 50s, you know, tried to scare everybody away from it because it was biting into the opiate industry. It's a billion or trillion dollar industry trying to stop, you know, moms and pops growing stuff in their backyard that was really working and really helping in a healthy way without the addiction. So it did a lot of the same effects without all the negative side effects. As you know, Canada. there's move to recreation, uh, to legalize recreation, mm -hmm. no uh, marijuana. What's your take on that? For everyone, I don't think people should use it recreationally. I think that's dangerous. I think it would be way, 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 way more accessible to people we don't, especially children, that shouldn't have access to it in any situation unless they're medically qualified. Yes, we also have some of these events coming up uh, to talk about this legislation. Tell yeah. us about what's what we can expect. You can learn all about that, advocation through education. You can learn a lot just by coming here, not just about the THC, um, like Kauka, the CBD companies here, locally grown, um, homegrown people that are doing amazing things for patients. And we're starting to see Hawaii looking at uh, cybacillin or the, the mushrooms. You'll learn a lot about that because that's the next industry that's going to be coming to Hawaii to help patients with microdosing with that for many ailments, especially for depression and psychotropic issues. Will the new AG report affect your industry? Because I think it would be create this whole authority and a cannabis czar. Yeah. How would that affect you? And are you ready for that? Or absolutely, I think the government has. We have to work in concert. The government, law enforcement, which is quasi government, and the industry have to work together for patients. I think now's a good time for a lot of advancement towards patient advocacy through the government. Yeah, and the AG report and other reports that come out. I think they're usually quite balanced. They're very authentic and real, and they have the numbers of what illegal activities there, but they also understand the benefits for the patients that want to be legal and do it the right way. And I think they're using balance to make it make sense. We only read it one part at a time, so it's not all negative or all positive. But if you look at it, it's pretty balanced in overall view, in my opinion. And the expo opens at 10 a.m. today, runs till 6, and also tomorrow from 10 to 5. We'll have more information on our website, hawaiinewsnow.com.